I was hit on the left side with a truck about eight years ago. And I was going to say, small wonder you have pain in your shoulder. He's yeah. broken his left wrist, elbow, right left ankle. wrist. That was jump starting the truck. And then he dumped the clutch right as I started up, hit me into the other vehicle, and pinned me in between the two vehicles. When I broke my left wrist, I got ran over by an ATV. Um, and my ankle, I was in a dirt bike accident. And my elbow was a fall. I, I dislocated my elbow. Okay. okay. All right. Um, I'm going to check your reflexes just really quickly, see what's going on, because it so- <laughs> sounds like, um, I'll make sure you're okay. I can- then just relax your arm. I got you. There it goes. Just the first finger <laughs> went. I'm just wondering how bad this wrist injury was. Yeah. Like, do you have full range of your wrist, though? Yeah, yeah I mean. Let me feel this wrist. Like, how much do you pop it? Not that much. It is a little offset right there. Yeah. Does that feel okay when I do that? Yeah. Okay. Relax your arm. Relax it. Relax. I'm just going to whack the muscle. There it goes. (laughs) If it doesn't go, I just whack it. I'm like, I'm not going to. You don't do that on, on boards or anything like that. Just relax your arm. Relax your arm. I got you. You gotta like totally. That's it. Okay. Have you ever had a massage or anything? Not recently. Now that is out. That needs some major work right there. It's it's not bad. What about tight? Tight. So let's see if it even goes. Chin back for me though. Relax. There it goes. Easy though. Relax. I got you. Good. Again. I got you. Mm-hmm. That's all it goes. Good. That feel all right? Mm-hmm. I'm not doing anything too aggressive on you. Just kind of letting it glide wherever it wants to go. Let's do the other side. Chin back. Got you. Just relax. Just relax. Good. I know, it's weird having somebody take your neck in their hands. <laughs> okay. Well, it's, it's a deeper level in there I'm trying to get. Chin back for me, though. Relax. Le- relax the right. There it is. Perfect. <laughs> now we can begin. Now let's start over. <laughs> Look at all this congestion over here. I wonder if it was ever fixed from the hit. I don't know. <laughs> Because you said you went to a chiropractor, right? Yeah, he didn't. I mean, he did a pretty good job, but that was a year ago. But A year ago? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, my joints have to warm up. I'm good. There, that was the one that was <sighs> suck. Stuck. That's the ankle that's yeah. Was broken. Yeah. Your baby toes really don't want to go. <laughs> I can make them go, <laughs> but I rather not like force them. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, that that is a wonky ankle. Relax. Do you have pain? No. I ain't gonna mess with it too much. I'm just keep trying to keep it. There it goes a little bit. Wow, that is just like. <laughs> I never wanted to sprain again. <laughs> Your body's really 
adapted. Good. Reach over high. Grab the table for me. We're going to do your hip sockets. Any pain in the... Which hip was the one that hurt? Um, the left. Left. Okay. Let's try the right then. Good. All right. So I'm going to get out of it this position. It's tight. Yeah. Feel that? Look at that. Oh, man. It's a huge knot there. That's going to need to be broken down a little bit, okay? Yeah. That one. All right. So let me see how it moves, okay? All Take right. a deep breath in. Oh, yeah. Hey, it moves. Deep breath in. That, that is, uh, <laughs> this is all kind of a little swollen here. Yeah. And again. <sighs> and again. I'm going to do a couple of them here. Good. There you go. All right. For this one, I have to reach under the pelvis just a little bit to this bone here, okay? Uh -huh. I'm gonna lift you up just a little bit. Yeah. I got a traction T12 here. Relax, I got you. Well, that's gonna take some of this, okay? <laughs> to get rid of that. There we go, oil. And just keep breathing for me, okay? This is the cause of your low back pain. Okay, this is so tight here. In your rib cage. Doing okay? Mm-hmm. This fascia is just glued to your ribs. I can't even move the skin around. This one behind your back. This moves when I really pull it backwards. Let me in and then you can tense up. <laughs> then you can tense up afterwards, okay? Some of it. <laughs> there we go, that's a little better.
That's it. Now we're getting that fashion moving. Move this one to this left shoulder a little bit. Let it marinate there. Okay. This is a shoulder that hurts him. That's it. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Tuck your chin for me a little bit. Just tuck it the other way. Mm. That's it. Doing okay so far? Yeah, I'm good. That's the scraping, okay? So you have some bruising here. Um, that'll last about seven days at the most, okay? Uh -huh. Tuck your chin for me. I know. One more time. <laughs> One more. There we go. And relax. Does that hurt? I'm, just ticklish. I'm sorry. Yep. It's a little bit of it's been a little bit of a project getting this unglued for you, okay? Um, I mean we're doing it. <laughs> yeah. It's just that you're gonna be sore. It's all good. I mean I've got it gliding now, but with a little bit. We're going the opposite. Usually I go deep and then I go to the surface. We're going from the surface and we're going deep this time. When the, when the fascia doesn't glide like that, we must take care of that first. Make sure you drink a lot of water after this, okay? Go down into your delts. Not too bad, not too much bruising. So here we go. Here's the roller, okay? Is that all right? Mm -hmm. Don't worry about your feet, just let the feet go. That's it. Breathe for me. That's what I want you to concentrate on, breathing.
breathe. Here we go. Perfect. Good. Uh, hands on the carpet for me. Breathe. Does that hurt worse on the left than the right? Yeah. See, I'm, I do single roller every once in a while. Feels better with both sides, you know, at the same time. Okay, relax. We're gonna do your glutes, is that okay? Yep. Just put your hands back on the pad, just relax. We're done with up there. Just going down the back of your leg. It's just good to stretch your hams out, hamstrings out. Oh yeah, well, not there. Hey, right, calves. All right. Test it out a little bit for me, like just. Test it, yeah, the shoulder. What would it what would she normally do? Yeah, it's Feel a little better. right, a little better? Yeah. Like just raise it to the front. What would normally make it hurt? Um just like the higher farther right back. Right at the end. Worse. So yeah. just take it up like this and back. Any pain? No? Okay, then just arm behind your head. Anything there. And behind your back. Is that a little more diff that's a little difficult? Yeah, it's a little worse. Can you lift your arm up off your back? Does that hurt make it hurt? A little bit. A little bit where? In my front. In the front. Okay. Come on and have a seat for me. Uh you're gonna have a seat facing that way. But we were almost and I almost had it. I gotta work on your delts here. So hands on your um your hips for me. Just your elbow. Perfect, there you go. Be careful with this one. It might not even Relax up straight for me, so straight again. There it goes. Good. Good. And on your hip again for me. Set up straight, 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 straight. Then just your elbow back into my hand here. Set up straight. There we go, we got that. Now back. This is a not so pleasant part as well. Okay, <laughs> for lack of a better word. So you just tell me, okay? That's pretty good. Scraper. Um, arm behind you and grab the table. Look up and away from me. There we go. Deeper level. Oh, don't look at it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Look at the back of it, though. Oh, yeah. So, it looks like road rash, but it isn't. <laughs> I'll be all right. I've been injured. By who? Who did this to you? Dr. Andre. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. It just keeps coming out. Jeez! <laughs> Good. Good. Look down for me. The hurt 
Mm-hmm. Her, no, okay. You might feel a little bit of irritation for a few days, okay? But it um, should go away. Like 48 hours. You might not. You might not find, <laughs> feel anything. You might go great. <laughs> okay. Just understand there's a shifting period for about 48 yeah. hours, okay? very small. Do your doubt just no I'm I'm here with the mm-hmm. scraper. You can look at it. I just don't want to whack you. All right, Lena, you ready to take a picture of him? He made it. <laughs> Seven days though. I'll, I'll be gone. All right. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's pretty it, good. The, a lot of it is the pink that we were talking mm-hmm. about. The See these dark spots? That, that's your rib. Yep. These are your ribs here. And there's a little welt from the cupping. So hopefully we broke this down. Mm-hmm. I mean that. Ooh. Yeah, just a lot of stagnation there. Not a lot of circulation. And when it comes out dark like that, that means there's a lot of blood just sitting in there. Yeah. Your so, skin was like glued to you. So it took me about 10 minutes just to unglue it and then it's kind of like, you, I mean, I'm sure you know the process is like working on a car that hasn't been, yeah. had its oil changed ever. <laughs> I knew, I knew it was going <laughs> to, you know, was going to be a good job It was you. okay though. It's better, better now than never yeah. having it done. A lot of people go through their whole lives and they've never had anything like this. Oh, oh, I always think to myself, ah! Because what that cupping does is it pulls your skin away. Mm-hmm. And you want it to be loose. I, I don't I know, I want it to be tight. No, because then it restricts you. It's kind of like a burn victim. That would be an extreme form of having your fascia. Yeah. You know, a burn victim, they're so contracted with their skin that we're slowly trying to, like, break that Try open. Off. So you're, you're not a burn victim, but it's... Your fascia should move and glide. When it doesn't, then we get those big pockets of blood like we had. Mm-hmm. It's okay. You're good. Um, you can put your shirt on. We're going to finish up the pops. I'm going to stretch you out. Uh-huh. Now, I have your head back so I don't give you a whiplash. Uh-huh. Okay, so I don't... Okay, I don't want that to happen when I adjust you. Perfect. Other side. All the way up. We're going to get the whole thing. I'm going to get the whole... Is that hurt? No. Yeah, I need to build this. Here we go. See, this is why I have my bare feet because I can grab onto you guys. Oh, breathe, breathe. Don't tense up on me. You're tensing on me. That's it. Okay. On your back. Bend your knees. Press out against my arms. Five, four, three, two, and one. And squeeze. Squeeze. There it is. All right. Uh, come on up. See how it feels. We, got, we can do your ears. Most uh-huh. guys don't like their ears done, unless they have congestion. Then they ask for it. Like, I can't breathe. Do my ears. You okay? Get yeah, I'm good. They make a really tiny little crack. You know what? You know what? They hold up. Yeah. See. Good. You kind of do it to yourself. Perfect. Okay. Stretching. See how the shoulder feels now. Come on, just take it up. 
It was better. A better. It was a lot better. It's just, it, it was glued. So yeah. only one part was capable of moving, and that was the part that was hurting, this front part. Yeah. You know, imagine doing this over and over and over again. It's going to ache. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to... The thing is, now look at him from the side here, Linnea, while we got him. I mean, this is his posture just after popping and cracking on him, working on the fascia, okay? If you want this shoulder to heal, uh -huh. you've got to get the chest out, okay? The shoulder goes out of socket like this. Look at your shoulder. Lean forward, like hunch forward. Now look at your shoulder. It'll push forward. See how it pushes forward? Yeah. It'll push through those fibers and make it hurt. Yeah. You want to take the achiness away, get your mid back back. Now look at your shoulder where it is. Back. It's back in the socket. Okay, so now we got to train you to get this mid part backwards so the shoulder can stay off of those muscles in yeah. the front. Okay? Right here, stick a foam roller. Bend your body back over. Bend your knees, butt on the ground. You're just going to stay there. You see how your head doesn't quite touch the ground? Mm -hmm. Little by little, you need to. Start inching the head back. The butt, it feels odd because all this is stretching in the front. I mean, people are always wondering what are these? These this is these are magnets. See there's a see how it sticks. Take the shoulder again. So it's still still pinching. No. Yeah, it's just if you get the shoulder back into the socket, it shouldn't hurt you. Yeah. You don't have anything structurally wrong. It's just wear and tear. Yeah. It's just sore, yeah. irritated, okay? I don't feel anything like you have a tear in your labrum or any of the tendons or ligaments, okay? All right, very good. All right.